Hi guys, Eddie Gill, Rand's Aircraft. Today we have a video tip for you. We're going to talk about the forming of the horizontal stab fairing where it meets the tail cone. Now, in a previous video, we have already discussed how to form that piece. This tip has more to do with when we want to do this in the, in the assembly process and what the advantages are. Um, so, in preparation for this step, we will need to make sure that we have the aft part of our tail cone completely finished, all rivets are done, it's rigid, it's, it's solid, and we'll need to have our horizontal stab assembled and finished as well. So we are going to attach it to our, our adjuster blocks and the aft side of the, uh, the, the, where it attaches to the aft spar on the horizontal on one location. We haven't drilled that other hole yet for the horizontal aft spar until we have the wings attached and we do final alignment. But what is going to be critical for this step is that we attach our horizontal leading edge in approximately the correct position on the adjusters depending on what engine choice you have gone with. So we already know that if we're doing a Titan 340 install, we're going to have to have the leading edge of the horizontal all the way down as far as it will go in the adjuster blocks. We know that if we're doing an, a lighter installation, a 912, which we don't do at the factory any longer, but if you do a lighter installation like the 912, you're going to want that incidence adjuster block to be as high up as it can go, meaning the leading edge is at the top end of it. And if you're doing a 915 install, we set ours in the middle. Run your adjuster screws equal amounts, top and bottom, and get those adjuster locations in the center. That's going to get you very close to optimal flight performance. We haven't really had to make my, uh, major or if any adjustments on our ready-to-fly aircraft since using these adjustments. But if you're using an alternate engine, well, um, then you're going to have to do some flight testing. But this will get the, the location of your horizontal in the approximate location in the ballpark area for you to be able to attach these fairings and, and have it fly exactly the way you want it to fly. Um, so we were mentioning that there's there's two or at least three uh, good reasons for installing the the fairings at this stage of assembly. So let's talk about those three options. Okay, one of the reasons that I'm that I want to discuss with you is that as you're fitting these parts to the fuselage, the tail cone part and the horizontal stab, there is a lot of moving back and forth. There's pushing. There's trying to shift it to get it aligned. And it's extremely easy to scuff or mar the painted surface that we've already finished. Now I know that this gets a rubber edging and we will apply it, but even we've noted that on the edges that do not have that rubber edging, it's still very easy to scuff. So right now while the aircraft has no paint, we like to fit those up, we like to make sure that they're straight, that they're aligned, and then we'll drill through to fasten them to the airframe. Another good reason to fit them beforehand is once you've drilled your holes you have to be able to access from the root side of the horizontal stab to to locate the nut plates that are going to hold those fairings in place so there is access but it's very limited and although we've done it a number of times it's rare very challenging to get those nut plates installed both the top and the bottom so if you've already installed your horizontal after paint and it's final installed, maybe you have your vertical in place, you don't want to remove this surface again to do that step. It's very challenging. Well, the good news is that here when you're finished and you're going to take it apart anyway, your, your pilot holes are drilled, it's so much easier to install those nut plates when your tail cone is not in the way. You have full access to this side of the horizontal stab on both openings and it's very easy to reach your hand inside and, and hold those nut plates and mark them and drill them while there's not a tail cone in the way. And the final reason why it makes sense to install this now is we don't have the vertical stabilizer and the rudder in the way here of the center line and it's very easy while you have both fairings on. I have one removed just so you can see but it's very easy to take a straight edge and mark a center line from the rivets which come along the seam, the middle seam, and your horizontal stab uh, right here, it's easy to mark the center line, trim this fairing, 
do the same with the with the other side with the with the right side fairing and then fine tune them until they butt up sometimes we would have these overlap but i think it's a better fit um, if we just have those trimmed to fit flush up against each other just butt up against each other so there you have it guys that's our video for today i hope this helps thanks for watching